What's going on YouTube? Coming back with a quick video here. In this video, I'm going to be showing you some trading things. Um, these are to give you the numbers and such for level 1 friends, as I am with Chris is new. Uh, if you want to add me, just stick around to the end and I'll show you my friend code, but that's only if you're going to be near me. Uh, if you're not going to be near me or anything like that, no really point in doing it. So real quick here, um, if you... Legendaries that you already have being traded across... So I was trying to trade him this crowd on. It was a 91%. We know that doesn't matter. But I was trying to trade him one of those. And he was sending me a Kyogre. Uh, again, not that exact one. But we were both sending legendaries that we both have. It only costs 20000 The next thing that people want to know about are shinies. So if you have a shiny, such as I do here, I wanted to send him my Aaron. And he was just sending me a shiny tyranitar or sorry larvitar because i didn't get one from that event um we cannot do that because we did not have enough stardust my stardust was when we recorded this was at over five hundred thousand. so i'm assuming those are the million trades that they're talking about uh we couldn't do those but we both have a shiny hariyama so we sent them to or we're going to send them to each other again it tells you the price and all of that it would have been twenty thousand to send that he then tried to send me um, a shiny ho. It would not let him because he did not have enough stardust. Again, it was because of the million. And the reason I know it was the million for him also, um, I did have over 500,000 again, as I said. And I tried to send him my shiny Aaron that he did not have. Um, and when doing that, it told me I didn't have enough. Since then, I've used stardust to level up some stuff and we did other little trades. Um, so for him to send me um pokemon that are not in my pokedex those counted as special trades and he could click on those to send me um i believe that they're only twenty thousand just for random pokemon that you don't have uh but anything more than that so shinies and legendaries are special trades or shiny legendaries would be special trades but since it was a pokemon i didn't have we could only do one of those trades per day so, if you're looking for uh, prices and stuff, legendaries you don't have, or shinies you don't have are a million. If they're just Pokemon you don't have, then they're only 20,000. Uh, shinies across with each other are 20,000 if you already have one. Uh, we tried trading ones we already had and things of that nature. And the reason I know that they're cheaper is because a uh, group we were out with today actually traded the region exclusive. Um... See if I can find it. Believe it was a Gen Four, Gen Three Pokemon. Sorry, their little sprites would load up. I think I'd be able to find it very quickly. Uh, but it's only over in like Russia, and eh, maybe not Russia, but over there, uh, not here. Give me one moment. So we have Alumis, however you say that. Uh, they traded number three thirteen across from someone. Who was over there? So I'm sure that theirs was also only twenty thousand. Um, right now I'm saving up. I do have a Corsola that I'm willing to get rid of and a Farfetch'd, but I want shiny Magikarp and stuff. But I don't have enough candies to do that. I mean, not enough candies, enough uh, Stardust to do that. So my friend was trying to talk me into just giving him my Corsola I have, since I'll be heading back down to Florida to get more. Again, sorry about in this video if you heard any like movement and stuff. Uh, that is because I don't have my headphones. Uh, some reason my headphones are messing up and I can't do that. There's my friend code if you want to add me. Um, if so, put down in the comments that you're going to do it and like where you play around and stuff. Uh, because that way if I do add you that I'll know. Or if you have any trades you want to get lined up with people. Um, again, I will not be just... And this is a rule of thumb for everyone. Do not go out doing random trades with people you don't know or have never met. Um, not that I... But now you really do have to meet up with more people to do trades and all of those things. So just be careful about that. Um, anytime I do trades, I'll probably bring one of my friends with me. Or it'll be on a community day where we know that there's going to be a lot of people. So anyways, just let me know what you think of the trades. Do you like it and all of that. Um... I don't know what level you have to be. It started at 40. By two hours later, it had dropped to 35. And within the 15 minutes that I checked from 35 to getting done with two raids that we did, uh, it had dropped to 30. So me and my friend could do it. But that's what I know about trades. If 
anything I've said is wrong, comment it down below. The only thing that I cannot be 100% sure on is trading region exclusives between each other that you don't already have. Um, again, there wasn't any region exclusive he had that I didn't and could send to me. So the only way we could check it was with my course alert, and that was with me. I was really wanting a shiny from him, but we're not high enough level yet to do mythical trades. And I believe that would be Mew, Mewtwo, any of that stuff. Um, we weren't high enough to do those, so we couldn't do those anyways. And this is all just level one friends. So I'll bring you back another video hopefully soon, letting you know anything more on higher up trades in the coming weeks. Thanks for watching. Peace out.